Before we get into episode 7 of Survival and Ethereal, there's a couple things I need to clear up. First off, this video was actually recorded a long time ago. In fact, it was recorded nearly or maybe even more than 10 months ago. What this means is that the video you are about to see was recorded on my old laptop before I got my new computer. This means that the video is not nearly as nice as my laptop was much slower so mine test did not perform nearly as well. It also did not have a good microphone meaning that the audio is not nearly as good as that of newer videos. Now there is one more video that will be like this coming up, also an older survival and ether real video. However, thank you for working with me on this one and uh, kind of standing the couple not very good quality videos that will be coming based on survival and ethereal. However, in the very near future, there will be some new survival and ethereal videos on my new computer of much higher quality. So, thanks for being patient, stay tuned for more. One further note about this video is that at the beginning, I discovered that there was about two minutes worth of footage that was somehow recorded improperly so that I could not get it to render correctly. So in the end, I had to just remove that footage. So all you will have missed is just me talking about how the tree farm actually works properly and uh, putting in a door, a second door in the storage room, just a couple little things like that. Anyways, on to the actual video. So yeah, now that we've got that, I'm just gonna... Put away some of the stuffs here that I've got from I have no idea where. Where did I get all this stuff? I really don't know. But anyway, that's gonna. Ooh, I should enchant this first. Because I do not want to just use it up real quick. Previously, I didn't enchant, enchant my pick until later. Which was not a good idea because then I'd already lost a lot of durability. And I have a feeling. No, I don't think it actually changes it. I have a feeling maybe though that if you enchant it earlier, maybe it works longer. Well, obviously it does, so. Got that done, so now I just need like space to actually put this because it's honestly going to be quite a little system that I'm going to have to have because I have to have enough to mass, to do it in mass because it's going to be a lot of stuff coming in. So, I'm thinking right now that what I need, number one, is to teleport everything into here. And then I can set up a little type of system that spreads it out over four tubes. So two of the farms will teleport to one tube and two of them will teleport to the other. Yeah, not actually too complex an idea, which is good because I really don't want it to be super duper complex. But the thing I do see is that I might need more space over here. No, I can live with it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna base it right here. I think, I need a lot of space to do it. I think I will base it, no right, actually I'll base it right here because this gives me optimal this gives me the most amount of space possible right there. So I think all I need is to go and grab a teletube and then we can get this running. I hope I have one. No, I don't. So I guess I can just steal this one, but it's still feeding a tree and wow, it's doing pretty good. And let's see, what do I need here? Um, I need a teleporting tube which we had had a huge problem getting in the past because we had no desert stone but we have tons of desert stone now so I think that we should be able to one mise block one plastic sheets that should be pretty easy to make that the thing is the logic unit wait I wonder hmm I'm gonna go with this recipe for now this alternate recipe and then yeah let's get this set up so I've got a Few, I got a few of the resources all laid out here, but we've got a bit of a change of plans. We're gonna go mining, and I gotta think about how I'm gonna do this a bit anyway, because I might not actually need to generate that many saplings, considering the number of the amount of stuff I have already, the amount of saplings that are being generated, so I might not actually need to do that. 
I'm not sure. Yeah. And as soon as Extreme is all ready to go here, we're just going to go mining. Go and we'll get as much stuff as we can get. Because we need a lot. And I'll say we are running low on a huge amount of different things. Now something I should probably grab is a bit of food. Seven will do in total. And I think everything else... I think we're good to go, except for torches. I need a lot more torches than this. Where do I keep all the torches? Tell me I haven't... Tell me I don't, like, have none or something. Um... I have literally no more to torches. You've, you're kidding me, right? Okay, well... Huge stacks of tor torches. Here we come. Yeah, I'll just take all those sticks, and... Since I'm really lazy and don't want to just... Do it the simple way and put them all on. I am just going to search torch and go all. Okay. Let's see. We should be able to get, yeah, a lot of torches. And we are definitely going to need to collect coal while we're down there. And it looks like, okay, Extreme got his kitten in his inventory. And now she, apparently, it's a she, is wandering around the house. I'm assuming that she fell down here and died. Well, that was a sad turn of events. Shall we go mining? Because I'll say, we are actually really low on resources and it's really, it's getting pretty annoying here. Yeah. So as soon as Extreme here gets his inventory emptied, we are gonna go mining. I have legit not, I haven't been legit mining since before I set up the mining entrance to be awesome. I'm not sure why my video, why my game's getting kind of choppy here. I'm not actually sure. I'm recording, I'm, I have no idea. It is time to go. It looks like its dream is already down here. Let's go. This is going to be, I hope it's going to be really worth it, I'm hoping, because come on, close door. There we go. Okay. I'll leave it open. And let's go. I wonder what we'll find down here today. I have not been down in the mine for a long time. Uh, apparently, I'm assuming a stream has been actually... Ooh, it looks like there's a... I kind of want to get him. Should I do it? I don't know if it's going to be worth it. I don't know. I seriously don't know. Um, okay, well that was a lot easier than I was expecting. Let's keep right on going. Um, now this is not good. So yeah, I'll meet you guys down at the bottom. Well, we are down at the bottom here. I forgot to hold shift and I hit the bottom and ow, that hurts. So we're just gonna keep moving down here, um, and I'll collect the ores while he tunnels down. So, yeah, I'm hoping this does pretty quick. We've got some copper right here. It's really nice to know what it is that's here, but on the other hand, it requires more editing then, because I have to edit that out so nobody knows where we actually are, because we have absolutely no protection against people invading, so it would not be good. Um, yeah. So we're just going to head down to maybe, right now we're at minus 600, I don't know, 640 something. So we're just going to head down to about minus 6, probably minus 1000 if we can manage it. We'll see how it goes. Okay guys, we have come across something awesome. We have a giant lava field, so we're going to try and get down to it safely. And this is awesome! So we are finding lots of stuff on the way. Extreme just found diamonds, which is awesome. We have been getting quite low on it, actually. So hopefully, I'm hoping we'll find some more. And I think I am safe. This is... I don't feel safe anymore, so I'm going to have to play this really safe now. So that hopefully I do feel safe. That's the plan anyway. But I don't know how I feel. 
at the moment. I guess that this is a way I can mine is just like this, so it's kind of a little bit different to get used to. But, you know, hey, when it's this or falling in lava, you know, I, I think I'll take this. It's just personal preference, you know. I have some pretty good stuff I don't feel like leaving. So, <laughs> yeah. That's just, you know, how I feel today. I mean, I've almost... Oh, that was some... Okay, this is what I feared. Um, I'm gonna put that right there. Um, uh, okay, I think this, oh, I think that we actually need to be going this way if we want to get safe. Ooh, we'll see how it goes here. We'll see how it goes. So we have, so we have made it down to the lava pools finally, and wow, I just took a quick look around, and I think I saw, I think those are diamonds over there, I think. So this is going to be interesting. Did you have to think of that now? Maybe think of that when we were up at the base? It would have just been useful. Um, hmm. I'm gonna sneaky, I'm gonna sneakily steal that meese because that is something we are low on. Quite low on. Okay, I need this coal because I kid you not, we are low on coal as well. Like, legit. It's crazy. The stuff that. I don't know here. Um. I just, I don't know, what is the best way to go around this lava pool, because I want to get up here, because I think it looks like there's more of a mine over here, it looks like. I mean, I can't see a whole bunch, but, um, uh, maybe, well, obviously around this way it looks like I'm getting somewhere. I'm so glad I, I'm so glad we're up to diamond picks, just this would take so long. Um, hmm, gotta go around here. Safety first, always, because I really do not feel like falling down today. And that would have been a bad thing for somebody, I hope. Oh, it's, it is so hilarious when my friend and I were doing, I think it's, I think one of my first videos, I'm not sure if I actually released that one, but we were doing a survival let's play type thing on my server. And I can't even, or was it a let's play? Let's play? I don't think it was even a let's play at that point. And, anyway, we found a giant lava field, kind of like this one, and we legit kept, kept making holes and falling in them. It was really sad. Like, really sad. Okay. This is awesome here. I wish I could safely do the glitch that would make you so that lava would not hurt you, but I don't even remember what the glitch is anymore. That's also sad. It was a glitch I discovered that day, of course. I wish there was a way to see in the lava. It would be so useful. It looks like we're taking opposite paths. And yes, there is a cave above us, I believe. Hmm. So I think that I am going to continue heading this way in high hopes that that is diamonds, that we get those diamonds and get up to the cave all without dying. Awesome! Mithril is the rarest ore, aside from warp holders. Which shouldn't even be an ore, really. It's crazy some things. And I'm just hoping that I can make the ascent fast enough on a stairway. Nope. Not worth risking. Not worth risking. So with that in mind, Oh, that freaks me out for a second. Wait. This is worth risking. I didn't... Hey! I guess it's all working out. And, oh my goodness, this is freaky. I think that if we just head straight up here, I think we'll make some pretty good stuffs. 
It's so nice to have a lava field, though. I'm hoping that we can, like, get warpers galore, you know, so that we can have warp locations set in between even places like a lava field. The crazy thing about that, though, is um, getting power to all of them. I think we could do geos down in the mines, though, and I felt like there were more diamonds over here. I just feel like there's... Oh, we've hit some, and some mace. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking good. Mining is honestly my least favorite thing, really. I mean, I'd far rather be inventing something with Technic or Mesicons. But hey, when you start getting stuff like this, it's not too bad, you know? I feel as though I'm going to do something and mess up, though. Like, continue this and not be getting high enough up at a time. Like, I feel that pretty soon I'm going to break that block and the lava's just going to come pouring in. You know? Like one of these next ones that I'm breaking right now. Oh, I'm still safe. Ooh, we're really pushing it, though. I don't know. Are we going to make this? Maybe we're going to make it. Oh, I think we might. That'll be awesome. Do I dare break that? Yes, I dare. Awesome. We are progressing here. I just want to do better, be safe, than sorry. Ooh, what is over there? That is weird. I forgot about this glitch. This glitch is so useful. And in fact, I just did that by accident. Okay. That was so close. I was not paying attention. Awesome. We have reached the upper portion of the lava field, and there's some giant... I have no idea what in this direction. Below me? Or... I'm confused, but... Yeah, we're just gonna grab a whole bunch of resources, hopefully, if we can, and let's see how it goes. So we have gotten to some awesome places here. This is a giant cave system, as you can see on my mini-map. And wow, it is looking... It is looking amazing. It's just like... I was not expecting this. I mean, there's a giant cavern over here. Check that out. That is massive! I mean, take a look at that. That is absolutely massive. I've never seen a cave system that big. Never, and I have no idea how to get down. Um, by the way, yeah, copper is actually a very, very important resource right now for me because I'm doing a lot of technique stuff. And it looks like its dream is... I think he's making some progress. I don't know. Let's take a look. I... Ooh, I did not. I'm so glad I did not fall right there. So we are doing awesome. I mean, we've got thir Oh my... 13 diamonds. 21 meese. That is really gonna help. Now, chromium, though. I need some chromium. Now... Oh... There's some guys down there. And I'm not so sure that we're going to want, that we're going to enjoy meeting them. I'm going to do some really, some stuff here that's probably really stupid. I do not want this chunk to update. I do not want this chunk to update. Mithril, I have to have it. I just got myself stuck down here. We're down the hole he made, finally, and I want that mithril! I want it! This mithril is just one of those resources that we actually... This is literally the first mithril I have ever dug. It's one of those resources that is so important to making complex machinery, but we always have not enough of it. Wait, was that diamonds? That was zinc. Eh. Not... Not really that important, but still useful to have, I guess. Basically, I'm just I'm just on a run to try and clear this thing out. I even want coal. I'll even take... Oh, what did I just break? I'll even take tin, even though it's almost a worthless material for most of what I'm doing. Mostly, I need diamonds and 
um, Mies most of the time because Mesticons, obviously that's Mies. I think that was actually the mod was originally that was the only place you could get Mies was with that mod. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Is that diamond? Please tell me. I've been tricked by this so many times that I think I'm just supposed to get diamonds. Wait, have I ever done? Have I done any chromium? No. Nope. I. I'd really like that because chromium would be. I'm actually really short on chromium right now for a lot of my machines, and surprisingly, we use it a huge amount. I was oh wow this cave is a lot more major than I even thought. I mean, I thought we were just like at the, basically the end of it, it looks like Extreme might have some fun over there with that yellow guy, or am I going to have fun with him? Let's see. I'm going to, you're gone. You're gone. I don't even have to, yeah. A lot of these things, the biggest issue is we need client side Lua so that they're not so slow, but hey, That'll be coming later, but yeah, we're going to clear this place out because it is... Wow. Now that over there is a lot of diamonds. I'm hoping maybe there's chances, slight chances, that if we dig around them a bit more, maybe there's going to be a few more. I hope. Nope, not going to happen today. Oh well. I wonder what we're going to find out up here. Oh my goodness, this place. Look at the mini-map. This place is legit massive. Oh. I'm just going to eat and then storm him. Two of them? That is not fair. That is not fair. That is not fair. This is not fair. This is... I tell you, this is not fair. This is not fair. Yeah. Okay. Done. Gone. Nice. That went pretty well. I only got hit once. I was just like, <laughs> yeah, what do I do? But that was not bad. I'm so glad those guys are gone, but I do not like them. And there we go. That is done. I don't know. I I feel like do we have enough resources to go back up? I mean, I've got two mithril myself. It's doing pretty well. We're going to clear this section out, though, I think, and then we'll we'll see if we think that it's worth looking for another section. There's some diamonds! This, pl this place just keeps getting better and better. Literally, we've found another giant lava field, and I can see out of the corner of my eye, there is a diamond down there. I assure you, that is a diamond. Otherwise, though, this place looks pretty cool, I think. I mean, I mean, look at all this stuffs. I think we're going to be able to get... I think this is probably going to be the last area we clear out, though, because of pickaxe durability. But we'll see how it goes here. So we have cleared out as much as we wanted to, and it's just like... <sighs> yeah. I have a pretty full inventory, just had to make a new pick, which I do not want to use up a whole bunch before I enchant, so yeah. Extreme Hacker says he knows a much faster way out, so I'm going to take that and hopefully we get home pretty quick because I'd like to maybe get a couple other things done, so we'll see how it goes. We are just still on our way back home and I am so glad Extreme has a bit of a sense of, of, of direction because for like the past five minutes I have been absolutely lost and he's just like yeah this way this way this way this way this way this is like oh my goodness I'm so it's so nice to have him with me when I mine otherwise I would be hopelessly lost it appears from the live stuff though that we are reaching the, the big lava field that we originally came from, it appears. So that... Huh? Huh? Okay, I am so confused now. I, I am so... I mean, I know where I am now. This is back to the first cavern. What? 
So we have made it back to the surface, at least I have. I have no idea where Extreme is. If you're paying attention to, to the chat, you probably saw that. So, wow, we got a huge amount of stuff, which is now where we get to another thing I was thinking about. And that is the auto smelter. I feel like it could really help speed some things up because just look at all the ores I have there. Here's what I'm thinking about doing. Setting up an auto smelter in here that not only auto smelts, but it also duplicates. I mean, why not? So, for now, I'm just going to drop all my ores into here. Wow, that's a lot that we just got. And we even got... This was a very successful mining trip. Very successful. We got... Replenished our diamond stock. That was getting really low. We ha are beginning to replenish our me stock as well. That is great. This has been a very successful mining expedition. All the raw resources can go up here. Yeah, this is going really well. I mean, I've got lots of stuff. So I'm going to get to work and I think I'm going to set up a special chest probably right there for, or right here for doing that and right here for duplicating. And then yeah, see how it does. I'm going to have to end the video here though. The stream is signing out for the time anyway. So yeah, we've made some pretty good progress here. Got a huge amount of diamonds. Well, kind of a huge. But that is great. So in the next video, I'm hoping we can automate some more stuff. Auto smelter, all that type of stuff. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. But anyway, guys, remember to like the video down below if you liked it. Or dislike it if you really dis did dislike it. But I wouldn't like that. So, And subscribe if you really, really liked the video. And like to see a lot more of my videos. And yeah. I will see you guys in the next video.